first, first I got to stop by the shipping containers and I brought pipe down there. I need to grab some glue. I need to find where, oh, there they are. Never mind. See? Remember when I wasn't organized and it took me forever to find stuff and it was just this whole disaster? Now we kind of have a place for stuff. So now I just got to go in and uh, get all the glue for the pipes. I know this stuff's in here somewhere. Uh, can I put it like right there? No. Okay, it's not there either. Where is this stuff? Ta da! Aha! See? Easy peasy. I'm sure I'll have to come back up here about four times. So, plumbing, electrical. Ta da! For those of you new to the channel or haven't, Seen the last couple of videos. See the floor is pretty much ready to go, the floor pan anyway. So we can, uh, like I said, once we get back filled, we can start stacking the next level. All right, let me catch you up to speed. So when Chris backfilled around all that, I didn't touch any of this. I just kind of left it. We put a little bit in there. but So now we've got this coming in, which is those two returns tied together that skimmer and these two returns tied together. That's those three pipes. So I'm gonna put a pipe for that skimmer, a pipe for that, um, that return, a pipe for that return, and a pipe for each one of these. So the three, that's the floor drains, which are actually, well, in this case, they are all drains. One's for running through the filter and the other two are what pump from here up into there to make the negative edge of the waterfall work. So get all those positioned coming across here. See the three three inch pipes, those gotta get tied to those. And then I've got one, two, three, four, five two inch pipes. One's gonna be for the skimmers and then one for each set of the returns. So that's the four. We're gonna have gravel underneath this, but then we'll fill some on top of it with sand. And most likely this will actually not end up being concrete. This will be the pavers that sit on sand in case we need to get to this is my current thought. But as usual, that can change. Um, yeah, so just get all this over here so this can be uh, filled in. And then once those are connected, this can be filled in. We're going to match that level, which is right here. So the pre buck will get cut out on each side to that level. These uh, one inch conduits will all be brought in here. A uh, three inch drain will be put in the floor that comes across here as well. And then we'll uh, block that off and next concrete pour, we'll dump some concrete in that too. So that you know comes up here. So it's a small, it's a small opening, but we knew, we knew that going in. So it'll be like a little, almost like a crawl space door. Um, this has to be big enough to Take one of those in and out in case we need to change that in the future. Everything else is smaller than that. Then you'll come in through here. And then this is the bottom side of it. We still got some wood. I have no idea why uh, James didn't take all that down, but whatever. We got to cut that out though, but we need that. And the reason those are dripping, those three go to the floor drains in the upper pool. So of course it's got a little cover in it, but it leaks a little bit. So. That's why you got some water from that. And here's all our uh, one inch conduit coming in from the sun shelf and all that. And then there were some more that came in up there. So these will have to, these are also like the laminars from up top, things like that. But these will have to be turned up and we'll have to do a trough for a main box up here so that all the electrical conduit, the openings for it all end up higher than water level. So if there's ever a leak in those that we uh, want to get a flood from, from turn it into a water pipe. So those have to go up top, up there. Uh, sub panel is going to go here. And I've gone over some of this before, but that's the returns and stuff for the other pool. So lots and lots of plumbing to do in here. If you think you're going to plan everything out on any project, especially something this, where am I going? Well, I'm pointing y'all over there. If you think you're going to pl plan everything out on a project this size, and nothing's gonna change. It's pretty clear. It's pumping out of our uh, 
our well there, the one that keeps the groundwater down. Not really too worried about it. It does not get that high. We kept it off for a while, and I mean, it doesn't get half up to the bottom step. It's, I bought a real pump, so it actually pumps it out a lot faster. But when we're done, we'll have a cap for that. Uh, I'll have some sort of alert that'll let me know if it's off. And if I need to water out here, I may just use that kind of as a pump to irrigate the uh, grass that'll end up being out here. And these two sticks are so I can extend those two past all the chaos going on here because it'll end up turning and going in there because this is our electrical wall to the right. So my motion alert went off. Somebody's back in the house. Let's go see who it is. Oh, it's Chris. I didn't realize I gave anything on your to-do list up on the roof. Oh, okay. Yeah. I know how. Oh, uh, don't go there. You pulled him off of his task. I didn't pull. That's what he always says. I ain't pull him off no task. No. His task was to be foreman on concrete day and run things while I was doing my stuff. And then I got called to come over on that wall and walk across that thing to pour the concrete which in between the theater wall. Nice. And I said something to the guy that was doing the concrete. Oh, as long as the foreman says something to a guy, he's no longer responsible. Mm. Got it. Now look at this disaster. I didn't know you poured it over top of a membrane thing or something. Yeah. As directed by the pool guys. Stop leak. As I was saying, I thought there was rebar that went from here across to tie this into the wall, but there's not. Yeah. Okay. Well, that kind of explains why. We understand the failures now, okay? Yeah. yeah, thanks. Thanks for pointing those out. Yeah. Appreciate it. Well, I asked you the other day and you didn't set it. Well, was. we had, we got a piece of rebar that comes up and angles and goes off that way. Yeah. So, what lesson did we learn besides not to use this membrane crap? Don't use that. Don't use concrete that's got pea gravel in it. Use concrete with regular gravel. gravel. Yeah. Correct aggregate. If I could get the trucks to come in the correct order at the correct time, I could have put in a truck for that. So, but, yeah. Yeah. But that's blaming the others. So, what is the reason for using the small gravel in the walls instead of the regular? It better consolidation. Okay. I mean, that's really it. So, yeah, and we should just ran the rebar needs to be within two inches of the edge. At the edge. Yeah. So. Drilled in like that and bent over. Yeah. So you know you got to pull all that out and put the epoxy in and epoxy it in, right? Yeah. Okay. Got to leak. Keeping the keeping the pool from filling up. Yep. That's the drain for the pool. If you didn't already figure that I, out. I kind of figured that out. Yeah. So we're gonna take that out, and we're gonna pop at least one area pan open probably a couple i mean it's pretty easy and then we can just dump it from here but i've got to have all that over here and up the wall yeah. turned up and i gotta have all these over and turned up I got you. so that we can pour and you know because it's gonna i mean i'll pull under those pipes go ahead and do the floor yep so i'll put temporary elbows on all those so we don't get any concrete accidentally in them yeah and uh, we got to take that piece of wood off. Yeah. And I got to put my drain in. So I went and bought a drain. So it'll be like somewhere here. Mm -hmm. And then I've got two Ys that I'm going to come off the drain pipe with and we'll run over for the backwash drains. Okay. So I got to get all that done too. So however long all that takes. Okay. Yep. Hopefully before I need to move that machine. Oh, it's going to be before you have to move that machine because I'm going to go ahead and tell you I got it all figured out. What you got to figure I'm going to predict the future. Predict the future. Cause I already know where that machine's got to go. I'm going to be out here about to die, working, 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 getting stuff done. And you're going to pop in and you're going to be like, no, we got to do it right now. Boom, boom, boom. You're going to push me and I'm going to make a mistake. So go ahead and do it now. <laughs> and, uh, yes, this is at the front of the line now. Front of the line. Yes. You're going to come up and tell me something about how you got to hide the machine somewhere. Like you ain't got enough machines. No, I don't have enough this machines. one could just stay here. It's yeah. kind of retired, semi-retired anyway. It's it sat here long enough. Look how rusty it is. So it's time. Oh. We got, got ponds to fix. Well, it's not leaving until we backfill. I don't need it to backfill. 
You're going to be able to dump in gently with the skid steer. Skid steer. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I believe you on that. So you can reach everywhere you need to reach. Yeah. Okay. I'm not uh, getting one scoop of dirt at a time with that walking around. That's true. The track loader over here. That makes more sense, actually. Haul it around here and dump it and take the skid steer mini and place it around there. Oh. Why am I even asking you? Just do it. That's, that was the plan. Look, we got grass to grow. Yeah. That was the that was the iffy dirt. That can be used like out here. Oh. That's the good clay. That's pretty good clay over there too. <laughs> we got a lot of dirt, but I think it's gonna disappear pretty quick. It looks like we're gonna have to weed eat before we actually use it. Yeah. Uh, all right, so yeah. That's the latest disaster. Uh, but I mean, we're gonna fix it. And now, you know, all you other do-it-yourselfers know uh, what not to do. There you go. That is wild, though. Isn't that crazy? I've hmm. seen a bunch of, I mean, that's literally how they do, like, slabs over, like, front porches and stuff like that. And that's, you fill it with gravel and pour it over to the wall. And there you go. Now we know that uh, that stuff does expand when water hits it. Clearly. And it says it's, this is, I mean, it came from the concrete supply company. That's not concrete supply, but a concrete supply company. Pipes that are going through there, I assume it's just dripping out of those. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Especially because I didn't see a drain pipe through the wall over there. It's the drains that are capped. Yeah, the drains that are capped, it just leaks a little bit. So, but uh, yeah, they're coming Monday. We're going to start skimming the pool. So that's why I got to get on this soon. I'm, I don't know. We'll see. And uh, what else? And then waterproofing starts next week. I've not heard that. So, what's our new slogan? We do it right because we do it twice. <laughs> Perfect. I love it. That's great. Follow the path of most resistance. <laughs> All right. Uh, well, let's go to uh, look at something we can actually make some money on. Did you put some gas in this up? I did. All right. Let me grab it. Right. All right. What do you got me into now? I'm getting all the briars for you. See? My proven method of checking out land with Let's Dig is working. Let me go first? Yep. Oh, uh, I'm a little more prepared today. A little more prepared today. I looked for a machete at the house and I could not find it. Hmm. Huh. I did bring the drone that's in the back. Did you? Yeah. Good. Oh, well, it doesn't look like it's going to take us as long to find this pond as it did to find the yeah, last one. Or the one before that. So something's either busted or washed out, or broke or something. They said the dam needed repair. Oh, the dam must have busted on it. Seems that way. Seems that way. Hmm. Just unfortunate we can't get there and look at it. Kind of. Mm -hmm. I don't really want to venture through all those briars. I don't know. Might be able to kind of. I don't know. Yeah, the players isn't going through that. I have confidence in the players, but not that much. Yeah. I have more confidence that we're going to find a dead body on here than that we're going to get to the dam. <laughs> yeah, the whole bottom of it's gone. Is it? Yep. Unless they so did that on purpose. Rack. Yeah, that's a yeah. trash right there. Okay. Yeah, I just but saw I that. It's kind of clean. In. There's a somewhat of a path right here, but it's not a very Regardless, according to the like six inch tree growing out of it, all that needs to be replaced. I concur. Good thing we know a guy. Yeah. But that tells me there's a lot of water that flows through here. That's pretty good size. Though. That's the first time I think I've ever heard you say that. What's that? Like on one of our adventures, that you actually found a pond that you're not going to have to try and figure out how to get water to it. Hmm. Mm. You know what that means? Nope. Gonna need a bigger pipe. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we could just put a big pipe here. We could. <laughs> wow. Where's all that water coming from? Must be another ditch that goes up through there. I wonder if it pulls off a of Turkey Creek. No, that's Turkey Like naturally. Creek. That's Turkey Creek down That's there. right. We didn't get to the so creek. We haven't. This is coming from up the hill. Up the hill up there. Hmm. Interesting. 
But that's what I was looking at. Is like, I mean, that goes up hill up there. Like that's pretty high and dry. Yep. But the only thing is, you got to be able to get, get to over it. there. Well, that was a little uh, underwhelming. It was kind of what we thought. We'd seen it before, but we were hoping for more, but. I was hoping to be able to drive and see more. It, yeah. it seemed like it really grew up since last year. Yeah, you need to you need to bring one of the machines over and push my stuff down. I think we'd Then probably, we can see something. I think we'd probably get the mulcher stuck down there in that uh, lower ear right now. I think so too. It seemed a little, little wet. Yeah. I can't believe it was that steep going down that hill. And we didn't, uh, I didn't film it. Did you film it? No, I didn't. Yeah, we missed it. It was worse than this. It was like that kind of, but longer and steeper. All right, well, uh, James is getting that ready for uh, concrete. <laughs> Bless you. Sneeze. Chris is going to bring the concrete bucket over one yep, day. He's going to have this ready by Monday. Probably so, actually. The machine leaves Tuesday. The machine's not leaving Tuesday. It, leaving. it ain't going to leave if I got the gate chained up. <laughs> Yeah, that'll stop it. Hmm. Hmm. All right, that's all I got. Not we'll run over the keypad trying to get out. Yeah. Dang. That's probably what's gonna happen anyway. I don't even care anymore. Let's just knock it down. I, you know what? I'm gonna get a different man. You know anyway. the concrete truck's gonna run over it when they. That'd be kind of funny though. I'll just film it, and then they'll have to buy me a new one. <laughs> well, does your camera cover it? Yeah. I just poop. That'd be great. All right, that's now, all we what, got. What'll right. happen oh, is what? they'll try to avoid missing that and run over your gate and knock the column down. Or they'll probably slide off into the grass where you should have you should have built the road up and put gravel there. Why's my why's my driveway so narrow? Why is your gate so narrow? It's not. It's twenty two feet. Yeah, the gravel goes between them. Does it? Hey, it does like that. It does a curve in and out. That side slopes into the where it turns into a pond when it rains. To the left. Mm -hmm. I'm hungry. All right. I ain't got anything else. It's too hot. Till next time. Yeah. Woo -woo. Oh, look. Oh. What'd you find? Oh, there's the bug spray. All the bugs. Why didn't you look in the in the thing? They're all empty. Oh, probably right. <laughs> I got to end my video. I know I haven't put out looks. I haven't put out full length video in, I don't know if this is the ninth or 10th day. And the algorithm hates that, so I'm gonna get punished for that, so. Which sucks, but it's all right. Um, it's just been nothing but this. It's like rain, we're waiting on parts. So um, so we'll get all the waterproofing today. That's coming in. And the sprayer for the waterproofing uh, will be in either tomorrow or Monday. And the Acrocrete product for the pool will be in Monday showed this earlier in the video so that really sucks but um 
we know why so I won't make that mistake again in the future and uh, now you guys if you would have made this mistake won't make this mistake because I've made it for you uh, the lower the upper pool the water's up to the bottom steps that's about eight inches of water in there right now roughly seven eight inches of water and I'm not gonna walk out on that but Frog didn't make it. Yeah, so let's see. We did seven of those. That's one, two, three, four, five, six. So we're at the top of the bottom. So it's it's actually not as deep as I thought. So it's 18, about 18 inches in this one. And that pump's running. Yeah, it's pumping water out of the out of there so that's good this is all ready for the acro creek once they get here oh yeah and we're back to mud pouring in yay One day, all the construction will be done. See, isn't that interesting? That's less flow than yesterday, but we got another two inches overnight. So that shows you how fast we get rid of that water. All right. There goes the heron. I mean, we've slowed down pretty good, especially as much rain as we got, so that's good news. It's good news. That one's full. Of course, that one has to be, I know that's, let me get up here. That's gonna look crazy on camera, flipping back and forth, so. Yep, so we've got flow coming in, which means the other two ponds are full. And when the rain stops, we're going to cut that up and get those out. But, I mean, it's still flowing around it. Yes, yeah, so that one's full, and then there's another one up there that's full. So if you're new to the channel, haven't, you know, relatively new, probably in the, even in the last six months, this is the last pond in a row of three ponds. So that's why this one gets down sometimes, too, because the other two have to fill up as well before this one gets runoff. Because runoff from the field isn't enough to keep it full, so... Right, Ducks? Y'all are loving this. Oh, got your own little private pool there. Oh, that's nice. That's the baby chicken. Isn't that cool how fast they grow? So the mama on our right, and there's the baby. So, not a little tiny baby anymore. All right, well, I'm gonna go inside and work on video because you, you guys deserve a video. It's been too long. I'm gonna put something out. Hopefully you won't hate it, but it's uh, it's gonna kind of be a compilation. compilation, compilation. It's gonna be a series of unfortunate <laughs> events uh, of everything that uh, has kind of been going on the past week. So, hope you got something out of it, and uh, hope you're staying dry. The uh, I need to bring the drone in too. Just got left out last night instead of put up. But uh, thankfully we've got waterproof cameras and cases. 
So, Mrs. Beaver good gives the watermelon to the chickens. They like that usually. All right. I probably said this a few times in the video, so I don't know if I cut it out or not, but because I kept thinking that was going to be the end. This is one of my videos. So. Uh, yeah. I will uh, see you in the next one. Hopefully dry.